The championship fight in the featherweight division. Chris Cyborg, the champion. Kat Zingano, the number one contender. Yeah, you can take a look at everything here, but it is that 26 and two for Chris Cyborg. 14 and four, both women are just outstanding in their skill sets of MMA. Let's go to Michael C. Williams. From Southern California, live on Showtime, we extend a special welcome to the brave men and women serving around the world and joining us on AFN, the American Forces Network. Here at Bellator 300, we now present the long-awaited clash between two MMA pioneers in tonight's second world title fight. We're scheduled for five rounds for the featherweight world championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. At five foot six, weighing in 144.6 pounds in her first Bellator World title, she enters as the number one contender, bringing 14 professional victories, four defeats by way of Boulder, Colorado. She fights out of San Diego, California. The challenger, Alpha K. Across the cage, the champion tonight fights out of the red corner at five foot eight, weighing in 144.6 pounds, unparalleled as a four-time MMA world champion tonight. In the fifth defense of her Bellator title, she stands with an impressive veteran professional record featuring 26 victories, just two defeats from uh, Kurichiba Mahana Brazil, presenting the defending Bellator. of the action, your referee, Frank Trigg. All right, guys, you got your instructions in the locker room. Made my commands at all times. Correct yourself at all times. You want to touch gloves, do it now. Go back to your corners and come out swinging. After a war of words, this long, simmering rivalry comes to fruition with this a grudge match for the Bellator Featherweight Championship. Thank you. The fifth title defense for Chris Cyborg. Katzengano looking to remain undefeated in Bellator and realize her lifelong dream of Ready? finally reaching the Ready? summit and Fight. becoming a champion. The bell in round number one. Well, I always say that people can sit, sit there and say whatever they want. The best part about fighting is eventually you get to get in the cage and punch them in the face. <laughs> Counter right hand by Cyborg, winding up quickly. Inside low kick by Zingano as she looks for the takedown and then gets caught with the left hook on the chin as Cyborg, they rolled right through. And of course, Cyborg's been working on her wrestling, has an underrated ground game, a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, and she really changed after losing to Amanda Nunes in just 51 seconds. She's actually become a smarter and more evolved striker oh, as champion. No doubt about it. We talk about all the time. Like Chris used to be what we call a berserker. She would hurt someone and just go guns blazing at him, be open for counter shots. Now you're going to actually hear her corners. They're going to they're going to yell at her, blue head, blue head, blue head, because that's to cool down, take your time, be a smart fighter, and just do your thing intelligently. Zingano looking to clinch, and Zingano's had success in the clinch and against the, the cage, but against someone like Cyborg. Cyborg very savvy in those departments as well. And Cyborg off to a aggressive start, but smart aggression. No, very smart aggression, and the Cat has taken a couple of big shots already. So, taking a look at what's going on in the cage right now, this is Chris Cyborg's fight as far as what she wants. She wants Go ahead, you want to try to take me down? Every time you try to take me down, I'm going to make you pay. The only time that Pat Zingano's been knocked out was against Megan Anderson. That was due to the eye injury, though, in December 2018. And now Zingano has her in trouble. Ground and pound from Cyborg. Zingano was turtling up there momentarily, finally back to her feet. Yeah, you talk about that fight with Megan Anderson. That was a TKO victory, but it had nothing to do with her being knocked out. It was a victory right. so to her eye. Never been 
finish through the strikes. Although that was resulted. There's a kick by Zugano to the body of Cyborg. Cyborg with 11 first round knockout wins on her resume as we reach the midpoint of this first frame. One two from Zingano using it to set up trying to get the fight to the ground instead she's a knee from Cyborg. Chris looking very strong inside of the cage. And Zingano already 0 for 3 in the takedown department with two minutes left in the first round. That doesn't do a whole lot for your confidence factor. But all Cat can do is just continue on. If you fail, go after it again. She comes off that spirited scrap with Leah McCourt that we have talked about. An incredible display of guts and skills. The reversals, the scrambles, but so far, she has been denied by Chris Cyborg when it comes to taking this fight to the ground. Lands a right. There's a right hand from Cyborg that momentarily bothered Zingano. Said Chris is oh, really looking to Zingano's set up hands right. are lower. Her face is exposed. And Cyborg's landed a couple of right hands. And the right hand again lands on Zingano. This body kick by the challenger, level change, and Cyborg ends up on top, ground and pound, hammer fist from the champion, it's over! Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, your official time, four minutes. Knockout and still, Bellator featherweight world champion, Chris Cyborg! Wow, Chris, that was an incredibly impressive performance. Everything that you did was under control. You look fantastic in the stand-up. You're grappling, you're wrestling, especially your defensive wrestling was on point. How you feeling? How to say hello, San Diego. Here is my home, too. I can't live here for a long time. I love you guys. Thank you very much for everything. You know, I train really hard for this fight. How is I train hard? You know, I, I respect Kat, her team. I want to say thank you for all my team, and the key, Thomas, Ray Elby, every single person, Cobrinha, Fabio, every single person helping me to be here. You know, the whole team, all my church, my family, praying for me, everything. I got a very sick two weeks ago. I was in the bed, and I was just can worship and pray and watch Kat Zigano fights. House cannot fight. They cannot train it. But I came here because of you guys and we're going to fight God he is in my life. When she went to take you down, you stopped it the first time, then you stopped it the second time. How much confidence does that give you in, oh, I can control where this fight's going? I feel like, I know Kat had a big heart, but I say, no, when she fell my punch, the, the, the strong, I think when she hugged me, she still, I was a little bit more strong than her when we hugged each other. I think she just felt this. When you look at the featherweight division and all the people that have come after you, who is it that you think you would like to fight next in this cage? The next contender, she just won. Leah, I've been waiting for you. Oh. And Sakakibara here, I would like to fight in Japan. This is my dream, and I want to do a fight before I retire in Japan. Well, let's bring Leah McCord in here. Leah McCord had a fantastic showing against Sarah McMahon. Big win. Congratulations to the featherweight champion of the world, Chris Cyborg.